What's up, Cedar Park? First, here are the top three things you need to know for today. Find out about a Texan who was the first Latina to create and star in her own sitcom on this week's Hispanic Heritage Month's Heads Up. And after, your pet of the week. And an all new pack chat. Turn it up because the Wolfcast starts now. Good morning, Cedar Park, and welcome back. I'm Abby Martinez, and I'm here this morning with Jack Polishuk and Katie Wimarsh. First up today, we recognize National Hispanic Heritage Month. The Wolfcast will be spotlighting one Hispanic Texan a week. This week's Hispanic Heritage Heads Up is on comedian and act actress Cristilla Alonso. Cristilla is a South Texan native who is also the first Latina to create and star in her own network sitcom, aptly named Cristilla, inspired primarily on her own life experiences. You stop yelling at your sister. I yell at her because I love her. That's what we do, right? Well, I love you too. Good. Well, I love both of you. And I'm going to my room now because all of this love is giving me another headache. <laughs> no, you're not. You are going to stay here and we're going to watch this pretty woman die. <laughs> Priscilla began doing comedy in the early 2000s after her mom passed away. She moved on from comedy clubs to appearances on shows like Conan and The Tonight Show. More recently, she starred in two Netflix specials, both setting streaming records. You know what pissed me off when I started hearing people say, we need to go back to the good old days. I'm Latina, when was our good old days? When JLo became Selena, that's what we get? For those of you that don't know Selena, Selena is the closest thing Latinos have to a superhero. She is a Mexican-American singer. She died over 20 years ago, and we still talk about what she could have done. Oh, if Selena was still here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Trump would build a wall. She would knock it down with her voice. Bitty, bitty, bum, bum, down. She says her love for comedy and TV began as a young child growing up in poverty, but finding joy and laughter from the TV. I was a latchkey kid. Uh, I was obsessed with TV. Uh -huh. TV was my best friend, and I used to watch a lot of, a lot of comedy, a lot of stand-up. And my mom couldn't speak English, so she didn't know that a lot of comedy had a lot of bad words in it. So all she saw was me laughing, and she's like, hi, Mika, you have, good, you have a good time. And she's like... Would you have to tr wait? Would she wouldn't say like? Would she say, "Tell me that joke"? Oh no, absolutely not! Like she just loved that I was laughing so, so she much. She she you can check out both of Cristela's comedy specials on Netflix and stream her sitcom on Hulu. Now, Kara Allen joins here at the desk with the top three things you need to know for this morning. Good morning, Cedar Park. First up, NAS NASA launched a spacecraft into an asteroid this past Monday to hit it off course. The DART or double asteroid redirection test made an impact with an asteroid in order to test out planetary defenses. The goal is to move the asteroid into an asteroid belt nearby, but the results of the test will be unclear until a few weeks go by. Next, Hurricane Ian is on its way to reach landfall in the, on the Florida coast along the Tampa area. Florida has been declared an emergency state in attempts to brace for the major storm. Many Floridians have started to evacuate or seek shelter indoors. Lastly, Russia plans to annex stolen Ukrainian land and has made threats towards Ukraine with nuclear weapons if they try to take the land back. U.S. officials warn that the U.S. will be forced to get involved if they use the nuclear weapons. And that's the top three things you need to know for today. Thanks, Kara. So if you all were in a hurricane, your house is being flooded, what is one valuable item you have in your house <laughs> that you would take with you? Uh, i take a laptop, probably. Yeah, I feel okay. like my laptop. There's a lot on there, you know. Yeah, but then it's going to die at some point. There's no power. Well... Well, you're going to escape eventually. It's not <laughs> like you're in the middle of nowhere, no, you know? Like, 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 no, that's it. I, I would take know. my dogs. I don't know which... Uh, I, well, wait, that's the obvious. Well, well that's yeah. Obvious. But like, that's like... I was hoping you would say you had like some cool like vintage like, <laughs> like a like big I treasure know. chest like hiding like underneath your pirate head. Pirate treasure yeah. from the 1500s. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Anyways, now it's time for your pet of the week. 
Our pet of the week is Kai Kato's dog, Kiki. Kiki is only nine months old, so she is filled with lots of joy and energy. She loves to have fun and run around the yard. One of her favorite things to do is to go on long walks around her neighborhood. If you'd like your pet to be featured on Pet of the Week, direct message us on our Instagram account at CPHS News or tweet us your videos and a short bio of your pet also at CPHS News. Up next, a brand new edition of our soon opinion segment, The Pack Chat, but first a quick break. Welcome back to The Pack Chat. I'm Jack Polishuk, joined by Reed Cummings, Kaysen Johnson, and Kira Cox. The Pack Chat is our student opinion segment where we will be discussing this week's most trending topics and share some of your thoughts on social media along the way. So let's get started. First and now suspected 17-year-old hacker responsible for the recent Uber attack and GTA 6 leaks was arrested in Oxfordshire on September 22nd as part of an investigation by the City of London Police and supported by the UK's National Crime Agency. The subject is believed to be linked to the Lapsus hacking group, which was blamed for breaches at Okta, Microsoft, NVIDIA, and Samsung earlier this year. So do you guys think, like, how big of a deal do you think this guy is? Like, he was 17 years old. That is kind of crazy. That's like, insane. That's impressive. Yeah. Like, how did he get past all those, like, what are they? What did you say, multi-million dollar companies? Um, <laughs> like Maybe Microsoft, like NVIDIA, Microsoft, big, yeah. yeah. Yeah, what? that's insane. I mean, he has a crazy portfolio. Like, mm -hmm. if, if anyone, any bad people or good people, <laughs> wanted to pick him up to like work yeah. with them, he could be used for it's a huge right? job opportunity. I haven't actually seen any of the leaks yet. Uh, I need to watch those. They're but old. Further, pretty insane. They're they're dumb. It, I think it's gonna be good again. My opinion. Uh, next, a funeral for former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was held on Tuesday after he was assassinated on July eighth. However, like all of these stories, the funeral came with a bit of controversy as the funeral costed $11.5 million in taxpayers' money and Abe's history of corruption and ties to the Unification Church, which is seen as a cult by some, and has had alleged history of defrauding members. Many local governments have passed resolutions calling for the cancellation of the event, and a man even set himself on fire. So I don't know about y'all, but I don't really get what is so polarizing about this. Um, what are your thoughts? I mean, I guess because it's like taxpayers' money and they didn't get a say in what it was spent for, but he also spent like 15 years like for like the country and like, I guess, leading them. And so it's like trying to give him like something for all the time he spent. I'm still confused. A guy set himself on, on fire. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what was that about? So because like, I guess, I see, what I mean, I guess it was the church. I think the church is the biggest issue for a lot of people because like it's really um, corrupted. And so like a lot of families become bankrupt because of the church. You know, a lot of like older members will donate money and that, you know, that was the cause of the assassination. Um, but other than that, like don't most funerals cost like taxpayer money? So I don't really get what's the big deal about that, you know? Okay. Um, finally, far-right leader Giorgia Maloney is set to become the next Italian prime minister. She will become Italy's first far-right leader since World War II and has had a politicians accusing her of spreading white supremacist ideas. Maloney would also be the first uh, Italian female prime minister, and she has advocated for anti-immigration. Maloney is also part of the Brothers of Italy party, which can trace its roots back to a fascist party founded by supporters of dictator Benito, Benito Mussolini. Although Maloney has rejected any ideas of lingering fascist tendencies. So what are you guys thinking about this? Lots of, lots of international talks. Right, right. I mean, it's, it's cool that like, Italy has the first female prime minister, but I also see how it's controversial that she's far right, because no one's really been that since World War II, which is yikes. But I don't... I'm not vibing with her policies, I gotta yeah. be real. I think that she's trying to like keep Italy as like just Italy and not letting anyone else in, which right. is like stopping it from like very growing and trying to keep like Italy like very like Italian roots. Very anti immigration, yeah. And so like she's talked about that a lot, like especially from Africa and yeah, I I, I don't vibe with her, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that's all we have for today's pack chat. And remember pack, there's always time to chat and we'll be right back after this quick break. We're wrestling and you're watching the Wolfcast. 
That's all we have for you today. Make sure you're keeping up with all of our content. Head over to our YouTube at CPHS News. You can also follow at CPHS underscore sports for updates during the games. We'll be right back on Friday with your weekend destinations and a sports report. Thanks for taking time to join us this morning. With CPHS News, I'm Katie Whitmarsh. I'm Jack Polshuk. And I'm Abby Martinez. We're going to make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Cedar Park. <laughs>